Hey guys, Dave Narona here, Skidoo Ambassador, and as the season gets closer, it's time to talk clothing, namely my favorite one-piece suit, the Skidoo BC Aspect one-piece with Sympatex. Now, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about this suit, but before we get into it, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about why it's my favorite. I'm, uh, even though my Tinder profile says 5'7", I'm actually 5'6", so I wear an extra small in this. And let's start out by saying, uh, I think buying a one piece online without trying it on is the biggest mistake you can make. Uh, one piece suits need to fit you properly. So regardless of the brand, you need to get into your local dealer, wherever that may be, or sled clothing or sled show, and try on the suit that you're gonna purchase because they make tight fitting ones, baggy ones, whatever you're after, it's really important that you actually try it on before you buy. Having said that, if you love the ski -Doo product, I don't think you can find a better suit than the BC Aspect. Now, all of the ambassadors have been saying it for years, we need to make something super lightweight, especially me because I'm a small guy. I come from the background of uh, skiing where stuff is super lightweight. And it took a little while to get there because really snowmobile clothing was all about making it tough because we're around machines, they get dirty, running boards, sled decks, everything's sharp edges. And um, I was really pushing for something lightweight, saying that people didn't care if they ripped it or it wasn't as tough uh, because lightweight was key to mountain riding. Um, and I use the example of Lululemon. If you've got uh, a hot woman in your life, you know how good they look in Lululemon. And they could uh, sit on a brick wall and pill those pants in about two seconds. They're about $200 for them and you know if your woman ride, runs them that uh, you hand out those $200 like it's candy bars for to get a new pair because they look so good and they feel so good for them and that's what it's all about and I use the same example when we're talking about this BC Aspect one piece suit. It's super lightweight, it's a three layer Sympatex laminate so it's fully waterproof, uh, windproof and breathable. Now, one of the drawbacks you get when something is super lightweight is that you can tear it. In fact, this is a suit that I've been wearing for two seasons now. I've ripped it twice, once on the butt and once on the side. And I'm gonna put in the link right here. Um, what I do is you can buy these little Gore-Tex patches on Amazon, they're about $17. They, you peel and stick. I use one on the inside and one on the back. And 100% uh, it works in the suit and it's good to go. So you pay the price for going a little bit lighter. Those who want a little bit heavier weight or stronger can look at the BC Kona series. It's a two layer Sympatex laminate, still waterproof, uh, windproof and breathable. And it's got a layer of insulation. So, and it's also a little bit cheaper. But if you're going, what I like is the lightest weight. Uh, when you're out in the mountains, this is it. We're gonna talk a little bit about it. It has uh, pit zips underneath here. It's got a full two way zip. So if you need the call of nature, you can pull the zip up from here. Got one great pocket here with a goggle wipe, another small one here, and it's got two, in the previous years, these pockets were almost too big. If you load them up, you could feel it. I, this is where I keep actually one of my straps, like a pull strap. If someone gets stuck or I get stuck, you can help the person, the sled, just pull it out of the snow and, uh, and super easy. And one of the problems, I guess, with suits that make them heavy is to make them tough. But they've done a really good job with keeping everything lightweight up top and just having this uh, Cordura material in the knees articulated right down to your boot. So this is where it gets a lot of high wear from your running boards, etc. And this is a really tough area, so I haven't had a problem down here. It's got a great uh, boot cuff, and uh, as well as adjustable down here for whatever uh, boots that you run. And I also love it because I wear knee braces, so this has enough area uh, that it's comfortable without knee braces or knee pads, but you can put a knee pad in here or a full brace, so super cool. And again, two-way zips on the legs make it really easy to get some great venting as well as access your knee braces if you need to and all that stuff. Now I will say one of the great things about this suit is the suspenders. Um, you need these suspenders to create the one piece that makes it feel like a jacket and pants. And, uh, and with me, I love it. Once you put these on, it's like I'm just wearing normal pants and then I zip it up and it's good to go. 
Now, the two drawbacks of this suit for me are that it doesn't have a removable hood. I don't use a hood. Um, even at lunch, I'd rather just put on a toque. And so I wish this was removable, but it is a three adjust hood. So whether you wear it over a hat or a toque or your helmet, you can do that out in the backcountry. So some people really, really love it. Now, the other only drawback would be that it won't uh, stand up over years and years and years of abuse. For me, it's not a big deal because I like changing my shoot suit anyway, any couple of seasons because new colors come out. Uh, they get it improved upon. Uh, but if you're looking for something that's going to be a lot durable over many, many years, then you can look at the uh, BC Kona series also. One piece, it's also a little bit less expensive. It's also a little bit warmer and uh, it's a little more durable. So it's great that ski has gone and made the highest end and then have uh, other levels, whether it's cost or whether it's warmth or whether it's durability that you're looking for. They've got something for everyone. We'll see you out in the PAL.